Evil Dead the Musical is opening on Thursday at the City Theater in downtown Detroit and it is based on cult classic films by director Sam Raimi who grew up in the Detroit area and director Greg Grovis, choreographer Ellison Smith here with us now. We have a special performance in just a bit too. But before we do that, tell me about the show. Well, you know, Evil Dead the Musical is such a romp of a musical comedy. And it's such a fun show because it's unlike any other musical that I've ever seen where there are special effects in this show that really blow the audience away. Okay, so tell me, this is a cult favorite. This is a really unique show that has to kind of be daunting when you're taking it on. A lot of expectation. Absolutely. You know, researching this show was quite fun. You get to watch all the horror movies. You get to um, watch the multiple Evil Dead movies. And this musical is a little bit of a different story, but it honors that legacy. So all of the fans of the Evil Dead um, movies, they're going to really like this musical. Same for you. Mm -hmm. Quite daunting choreographing all of us, Allison. It is. And, but you know what? It is fun. It's something a choreographer doesn't get to do a lot of times um, because I get to work with blood. When I'm choreographing the dances and the fights, I have to make sure I'm looking out for safety along with having the actors be believable in their fight choreography. Okay, so tell me what people can expect. I mean, you don't want to give too much away, but you're talking blood and fights and all of this other stuff. You know, that, that's my favorite part of this musical. There's a splatter zone. Now, don't get me wrong. There are yes. seats that won't get bloody, but it's this wonderful time where you can um, dive into this superhero musical oh, yeah. and, you, and you just get covered. Audience interaction too. Absolutely. Iconic lines from the movie that would the audience is invited on shouting out with the actors as they're saying the lines, um, yeah. party atmosphere, cast members going through the audience. So it's definitely audience interaction. That if if so you fun. haven't seen the, the, the musical, you really have to see it this year. And there are new blood effects that I can't talk about but you're gonna wanna see. <laughs> I love this, you are my kind of people. You brought two actors here. They're gonna perform, I heard them warming up. They're amazing. Yes. Will you set the scene for me? Yes, uh, this is a scene uh, in act one between the main man, Ash, and his girlfriend, Linda. It's um, an unconventional love song. All right, take <laughs> it away. Little did I know that day when I dropped off my resume at the local less smart store that another employee I'd fall for. My job was in the checkout aisle, as smart service with a smile. I hated work, it was a bore, but all that changed when you walked through the door. I was assigned to aisle three. Love so strong it has to be perfect retail harmony. I have to ask a question to the gods above. How were we deemed worthy of this perfect love? I'll ask the trees, I'll ask the sky, I'll ask the whole wide world. How did a house wears employee? Land the perfect girl. How did the perfect girl land the house where's employee? I can barely focus on my checkout line. Your polyester shirt always on my mind. Fantasies took over me. I forget to scan items and give them for free. How could I concentrate on housewares? Who cares about blenders when you're right there? Our roles reversed, there was no doubt. Cause I was the one that was checking you out. I had a major crush on you. When I was near you, my love grew. Meeting love at work, it must have been fate. It's better than meeting on a Tinder date. I, I have to ask a question to the gods above. How are we deemed worthy of this perfect love? I'll ask the trees, I'll ask the sky, I'll ask the whole wide world. How did a housewares employee land the perfect girl? How did the perfect girl land the housewares employee? Stocking the shelves was all I thought would be. 
But finding my true love at S Mart that makes this job so groovy. I have to ask a question to the gods above. How are we deemed worthy of this perfect love? I'll ask the trees, I'll ask the sky, I'll ask the whole wide world. How did a housewares employee land the perfect girl? How did the perfect girl land a housewares employee? Elena Matthews there. I wanted to remind you, City Theater, that's in Detroit, September 26th to November 2nd. All of the ticket information on WXYZ.com. Thank you so much, you guys. That was fantastic. We'll be right back.